we are doing a beautiful seared tuna steak. So we're using some Asian flavors with this and I'm getting together some stuff for a marinade. When we talk about Asian flavor bases, we're jumping over into a completely different part of the world. So we have what I like to call GGS, so ginger garlic scallion. So I'm grating about two inches of ginger here. Mm, and it smells great. I peeled it. So I'm gonna do about two thirds of it here in my marinating vessel. And then I'm going to save the rest of it in a little dish for my soba noodle stuff. Okay, mm. and ginger just makes me so happy. Let me give my fingers a little rinse. Okay, so I've got some other standard flavor things going on here. I've got some soy sauce. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of soy. We don't wanna go crazy here, but we're gonna put our tuna in there and turn it around and turn it around. So we have to think, soy is very salty, so on the flip side of salt, we wanna do something bright and acidic to sort of cut that. So I have rice wine vinegar, about half a cup of that. And just because I like it, I'm gonna use some spicy stuff. I have two teaspoons of sambal olek, which is, woo, extreme, that, <laughs> that tickles my nose. But it's extremely spicy. It's a Vietnamese chili paste. And if you're not a spicy person, back it on down or add it in small amounts and then go ahead and taste as you go. But what I loved so much about that one is that it's not only extremely spicy, but it has an amazing flavor. So often when you get stuff that's spicy, it's just hot and it doesn't have an amazing flavor. This is both of those things together and it makes my mouth water just thinking about it. So I'm gonna smash three cloves of garlic. How gorgeous is this? Hello, gorgeous. This is an extremely high quality piece of tuna. We look at it, it looks fresh, it looks red. And we see it's a big eye tuna, so that means that the grains in the tuna themselves are very far apart. We see this very dark line here. This is what we call the bloodline. We take that out. It always comes when you buy tuna. It does not taste very good. It's a very strong flavor. If you really like the strong flavor, knock yourself out and leave it in. I like to take it out because also when you cook it, it turns very, very dark, so we don't love that. Okay, so, okay, thank you for coming. Now, I'm going to cut this into four or five pieces, nice big pieces. We're gonna marinate them. We're gonna turn them all over, look at this. We're gonna sear them on all sides and then we'll have beautiful sort of thick pieces of uh, rectangles of tuna. Oh, and this will look beautiful on a plate. So I have some scallions. I'm going to do my scallion whites in my tuna marinade. I am heating up some peanut oil and I'm going to heat this up to screaming hot. The beauty of tuna is that we cook it ever so quickly on the outside. Oh, look at this. This is, you know, like tuna is an investment. It's kind of, you know, like this is a big money item. And so I'm gonna take it out of the marinade. I'm brushing off some of the excess scallion and, and garlic and ginger and all that kind of stuff so it won't burn. So we want an oil that has the ability to heat up very fast and so we can cook this really fast as well. Looks into that. Perfect, I know my pan was hot. There we go, look at that. So look at my beautiful tuna. I seared these pieces, I marinated them, and we're ready to slice them. And look at this. I seared them very quickly in peanut oil. Oh, look at that. 